Hey everybody, Rick Mead of Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Thursday afternoon, January the 14th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for the third race on the card, 1.24 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Six furlong sprint on the inner dirt track. Three-year-old fillies race for a claiming purse of $31,000. Contenders number six, Ideal House. Number four, Isn't She Grand? Number five, Roman Chestnut. And number three, How Cool Is That? Number six, Ideal House, is the overall speed leader in this field. Sprinting at today's distance of six furlongs on the dirt has produced power runs in each of her last three. Hitting the board in the pair, including a power run win in her last start, facing slightly better company in that race than she'll face in this field today. Jockey Ramon Dominguez and trainer Steve Asmussen send her post for today. They fit the board with 58% of their entry saddle as a team to date. We also note that using race analyzer software, that this entry also has the t uh, top Foden adjusted speed reading in this field as well. Number four, isn't she grand? As the pace profile leader takes a class drop today. Race three summary, number six, ideal house. Tops my contenders list, which also includes number four, isn't she grand? Number five, Roman Chestnut, and number three, how cool is that? Six, four, five, three in the third today from Aqueduct. Go to South Florida's Gulfstream Park next for their seventh race on the card, 4.12 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six furlong sprint on the dirt. Phillies and mares, four years old, and up race for an optional claiming purse of $51,000. Contenders number three, Sheik's Revenge. Number two, Powder Princess. Number five, Wyatt's Women. And number six, Bangaloo Ruby. Number three, Sheik's Serenade is the overall pace profile leader in this optional claiming field. Has hit the board in each of her four career starts to date, including back-to-back -back power run wins in her last two starts. Jockey Eddie Castro was in her irons for those two wins en route to a positive 247% return on investment in the process. Castro is back today for his second ride gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number two, Powder Princess drops in class by three units as the overall speed leader in this field, sprinting at six for lungs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in both for her last two, including a power run win in her second race back. Race seven summary, number three, Chic Serenade, tops the contenders list, which also includes number two, Powder Princess, number five, Wyatt's Women, and number six, Bangaloo Ruby, three, two, five, six, in the seventh today from Gulfstream Park. Finally, out to Southern California's Santa Anita Park for their seventh race on the card today, 4.07 p.m. Pacific Post Time. It's a mile test on their turf track, four-year-olds and up race for an allowance purse of $56,000. Contenders number two, Monzante. Number four, Trace Borjachos. Number three, Red Alert Day. And uh, number one, uh, Yorktown. Number two, Monzanti, is the overall speed leader in this allowance field today. Racing at the mile distance on the turf has produced a quartet of power runs in his last five starts. Jockey Garrett Gomez and trainer Mike Mitchell sent him to the post for the Thursday feature today. They fit the board with 58% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number four, Trace Bohashos has hit the board in power run fashion in two of his last five starts. Race seven, Sombri. Number two, Monzanti, tops the contenders list, which also includes number four trace bohashos number three red alert day and number one yorktown two four three one in the seventh today from santa anita park a couple of bonus long shots for you to consider let's go to charlestown first race seven number nine spirit wood eight to one in the morning line is the overall speed leader in this claiming field racing at or about 10 furlongs on the dirt race at tampa bay downs in oldsmar florida today as well race seven the four to one shot number two southern tenacity qualifies as a power pony, nice early speed for the sprint at the specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt. So from Aqueduct, Gulfstream Park and Santa Anita Park on a Thursday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle Major Trek Report, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.